And that breaking news comes to us from the South Bay, where three people have died now in a multi-vehicle crash on northbound 101 in Sunnyvale. Yeah, that freeway just reopened its southbound lanes just a few minutes ago. Cromford's Will Trend live in Sunnyvale. Will, what are you learning out there? We are waiting for northbound lanes to reopen, which could happen any moment now. We are off of Lawrence Expressway. You can see traffic in the opposite direction. That is southbound 101 and that Caltrans pickup truck flying right by us. So it looks like they are picking up all of their cones and just about ready to reopen northbound lane. There's a CHP officer right there. So any moment now, they plan to reopen it and that would be about eight and a half hours after it was shut down. Let me show you some video a little bit closer to the scene. This is what we got when we first got here this morning. You can see all of the debris. James Reyna, you guys talked about it. Three pedestrians killed, seven vehicles all together. There was so much debris that it spanned about four to 500 yards from where we were forced to stand back from to the area where they had to clean up. It scattered in the opposite direction of 101, so that's why that direction was affected as well, despite this happening on northbound 101. Let me show you some overnight video. This all went down at around 12.30 in the overnight hours when a pickup truck, for whatever reason, still under investigation, crashes into the center median, and then other cars come along, chain reaction accident. We do know that at one point, three people got out of their cars. That would make them pedestrians, even if they did not walk around, guys. Just by the fact that your feet are on the ground, on the freeway, makes you a pedestrian. Then a car comes along, slams into two people so horrifically that they were tossed over to the southbound lanes. And that's why they had to shut down the southbound direction to do measurements over there. One person, presumably either his car three or four, got out, and that person was hit as well making it three fatalities. They shut it down. They don't know exactly the cause of this, but if we can head back out live right now, as I mentioned right before you came out to me live, you can see any moment, and this is any moment, you can see both, excuse me, all lanes of northbound 101, they have reopened. They had to shut it down from Lawrence Expressway, got people off the freeway. They had to reconnect well beyond Fair Oaks Avenue, but both directions now reopened to the public. We don't know the names of the victims, James and Reyna, but we do know 